Hello, my name is Lady Just. I have a word of advice for politicians, especially the NDC party. Between now and the election day, I have appointed myself, yes, as the Nkontompo police. When you lie, I will fish you out. This is truth in politics. I said politicians can really lie. As for the NDC, they have made it their profession. Watch this video and I think you agree with me. I'm repeating, you know, say, it drew election timer. Now, I'm a new Kubia Epre. And see, Niobeka Bia, Ama Nipa, Akuma, Dania Mao, and Luna Obeka. And see, and try now they film. No crea now they film. Yeah, the fair fra. Former President John Mahama, in keeping with his promise in this video, that is about the only promise he really kept, he and his team put this particular document together. And since President Mahama kept his promise to lie, I will keep my promise to expose those lies, as I said earlier. the first four items on that document and give you the facts. First, the national debt. President Mahama increased our national debt by 39% in four years and has absolutely nothing to show for it. Teachers were not paid, nurses were not paid, road contractors were not paid, doctors were not paid. You remember? Every day there was one group or another going on strike for non-payment of salaries. In fact, according to some studies, if Mahama had paid for his liabilities, the true national debt would have been $35 billion at the time he was leaving office. Nana Adodan Kwekufuadu came in and cleared the debt that Mahama left behind. In addition, he cleaned up the broken banking and financial sectors where the NDC gave licenses to their friends to rip innocent people off. That alone cost 14 billion Ghana CDs. Don't forget free SHS, one district, one dam, one million per one constituency, unprecedented infrastructure development that is so real, not just on paper. The list goes on and on. So because Nanado invested what he borrowed said that the economy has grown astronomically in the final analysis, the debt-to-GDP ratio, which is the more accurate reflection of how borrowed money is fairly accounted for, is as follows. Now, debt-to-GDP ratio is basically what you have to show for the money you borrow. It shows whether you invested the money you borrowed or you simply went and purchased hotels with it in Dubai. President Kufo decreased our debt-to-GDP ratio by 59.7%. He took it from 61.7 to 24.9. President Mills increased it by 43%, taking it from the low point of 24.9 that Kufon left to 35.6. And look at President Mahama. He took it from 35.6 to 57.1, increasing it by a whopping 60.4%. 60.4%. In the same four years, Nanado has only increased our debt to GDP ratio by 11.2% from 57.1 to just 63.5. So, President Mahama, please don't go there when it comes to managing our national debt. Please don't. The next thing the NDC lied about is the CD to dollar depreciation. Here again, these are the facts. What the NDC didn't tell you is that President Mahama took over in July 2012 when one dollar exchanged for just 
one CD, 93 pesos. When he left in January 2017, that same $1 is changed for four CDs, 54 pesos, for a depreciation of 135%. Within that same four years, Nanado took the CD to dollar rate from four CDs, 54 pesos, to five CDs, 76 pesos, for just 26.9% depreciation. In fact, on average, under Nanado, the annual depreciation was just 6.73%. You can't even compare the two. Next, the NDC claimed that they appointed 85 ministers and the MPP appointed 125 ministers. First, that is a lie because they counted certain names under Nanado's appointees twice because they had switched ministerial appointments. Here again, the facts tell a different story. Unlike the NDC, where eight ministers also took salaries as MPs, in the MPP, no one took double salary, which means each minister appointed from parliament only take the salary of a minister or an MP, which is roughly the same. Of all the ministers that the MPP appointed, only 53 were not in parliament. The NDC, on the other hand, appointed 56 ministers who were not in parliament. And if you count the double salaries, the NDC appointed 64 non-parliamentary ministers. This means that one can say the NDC appointed 64 people off the streets to ministerial positions, whereas the MPP appointed only 53 ministers who were not in parliament. When you do the calculations, the NDC actually spent 18.9% more on ministerial appointees than the MPP did. So don't let the NDC fool you with bogus numbers. The next lie that the NDC told is this. Right away, the truth is that price per gallon when Mahama left office, according to trading economics, was 15 cities, 52 pesos, not 13 Ghana cities as they have in their document. What they didn't tell you is that the price of fuel as of January 2012, at the beginning of Mahama's first term, was 6 Ghana cities, 21 pesos per gallon which means Mahama increased fuel prices by 150% between 2012 and 2016. And in Anadu, within the same four-year span, fuel prices have increased from 15 Ghana CDs, 52 pesos per gallon, to 18 Ghana CDs, 24 pesos per gallon as of today. So when the NDC says a gallon of fuel is 25 Ghana CDs, they are telling stories. This is simple. Fuel is now selling at four Ghana CDs, 82 pesos per liter, and one gallon is 3.785 liters. You can do the calculations yourself. They go on to make many wild claims in that trashy document, but we'll stop here and continue with our research and bring you the facts about the claims they made in that document then you can make your own decisions. Please be sure to visit our social media handles, like and subscribe to our pages, Truth in Politics GH. My name is Lady Just, and this has been Truth in Politics.